side, which I've already done. Well. <laughs> Hello, hello everybody. So before you start, you're gonna wanna turn off the battery. I have this to make it easy, but usually it'll be a 10 millimeter bolt and you just take the negative off. If you wanna be safe, you can take that one off too, but I'm pretty sure just that will do it. If you're wondering what that is, it's different types of coolant and whatnot. You know, you gotta stay prepared when you're on the road. All right, so let's get into the car and start showing you how to take it apart. Make sure you release all the little clips. Our goal is to put the premium sound speakers in here. Hopefully get it sounding a lot better. of insulation all right and there we are now we have access to the rear deck lid and now we can put our premium speakers in all right to take out the rear deck speakers you're gonna start with two screwdriver and pry up. Be gentle, you don't want to hit the back windshield. So after you do that, it'll come disconnected from the, the sound deadening or sound seal. And now you have this white clip. You'll notice it's kept on both sides by a retaining clip. What I like to do personally is let me lift this up and out real quick. I like to put a screwdriver on one side while I use my finger for the other. This one's in a slightly different position than the other side, which I've already done. Well, <laughs> that's how you break a clip, ladies and gentlemen. Be gentle with this old plastic on the rear deck. It's very fragile. I was a little aggressive trying to be fast but I've learned my lesson. At least there's still one clip left, which will keep it secure. Once you've done that, it comes right out and you put your new one right in. All right, you guys, if you're having issues getting your back deck lid back on, there is these black pegs that go about here, stick out more than the white ones. It was giving me a real difficult time and I was wedging and wedging and they ended up coming off on both sides. But it still went down just fine. Um, I'm sure it just won't be as stable as it 100% could be, but this will probably make future takeoffs of this part much easier if they ever have to take it off. So if you guys lose this part along the way, I don't think it's a huge deal. Plus, still pretty stable. All right, moving to the side door. There's gonna be a little cover right here. Take it off and take out the T25. Um, then you will go around the door and let me get this out first. You'll go around the door and there'll be these clips. Press them in in the center and pull them out. I was having uh, issues with this. They're coming out all like this. Maybe they're just super old. I don't know, but now we're gonna take this off and I'll get back to you. Okay. 
All right, same process with the front door. You have to knock in these little pins here in the middle and then you'll pry them out. The only difference with the front door is you have to also take out this little piece on the, the handle and remove the cork screws under it. These will be T25s. You'll just remove these. And I'd recommend to keep your windows down. You know, take the door panel off and then just disconnect the connections in the back. Same with the back door. Once you get the door panel off, it's pretty self-explanatory. switching to the premium tweeter you can see a little difference but the way you're going to take it out is it will be in this little position um, where it has all these little grooves is where you'll have to pry with a screwdriver and then it'll pop out and then you take your premium one and you just boom plug and play literally speaker out it's been fun learning how to take out these rivets so you're basically just gonna start by drilling them key to success with drilling um, speed doesn't always mean better slower can be better um, so you're gonna just start off with like a pilot hole and then kind of move it around at an angle because when you get it going at an angle you're gonna pop the head off and if you don't, you can just keep drilling it and use a screwdriver to pop it off. But once you get these heads off <clears throat> and you take the speaker, this is going to have like a sound protective layer around it. So you just take a screwdriver and kind of pry it. And um, with those rivets left in the door, just drill them out a little bit. Hit them with a punch and a hammer. Uh, any, any way you can get them out, just try not to damage the door. It, it will happen your first time, but it uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Grab a screwdriver and pry it off. You're just gonna put the screwdriver where the white seal is in the back. You'll see it when you're doing this. And you just pull it off. Bam. Now you're gonna see these residuals left over. Just drill them out as well. I'll do it on camera for you. Whoa! A little intense, huh? I'm gonna mar the door a little bit messing with this, so don't get too sensitive. continue drilling out these rivets I'll catch you in the next scene 
three sixteenths rivets. We're gonna rivet in those door speakers. this wire between and under here before you rivet it down because you won't be able to fit it after. Alright, so with the battery off, put your key in and put it to ignition two. And after that, put your foot on the brake and move it to drive. It's obviously not going to do anything because the car is off. Open your little cup holder cover. And now we're gonna remove this piece of trim. Um, you do not wanna use your hands or you'll risk marring it like I did right here. The vinyl or whatever's on top of this plastic uh, came up. So I recommend using a fine little flathead or a bone tool, whatever you feel comfortable with. And uh, between the cup holder and the trim, you just get in there and pry it up. From there. And uh, what you can do is there's four clips around the trim holding uh, the center shift plate in. Uh, you can either remove the clip holding this boot on and take this completely off, or you can just take these clips off uh, and work with it that way. Um, either way will work. I think I'm going to remove the bottom. Once you get your trim out, I recommend putting some rags so you don't mar up this little center console here. Under the boot, um, there is this little, it's hard to show, let me see, this little black clip right here. You're just gonna push it down to one side and it'll pop off. It has, uh, let me see if I can get a better one. Little clips on the inside. Uh, you just force it off. Uh, and then you push it back on. Let me see if I can do a, a video of that. Okay. Okay. So you just put the flat head in between here. Sometimes you can get it with your hands, but this is a fresh clip. Just pry it out, and then it'll just pop off. And then once you do that, and then I'll take the shifter itself out. I'll show you. Now you'd think this is some advanced procedure or something. No, you just squeeze it and pull it off. So now that that is done, we can have access to these torque screws down here. 
believe they're a T25. And we will take them out. Uh -huh. Do not drop your bolts. Probably not the ideal tool, but uh, I like it because it's fast. I just had to turn down the power real quick. I'm just gonna strip it out. So, okay, then you pull from the bottom. Then there's gonna be all these fun connectors on the back. Um, let's just stop. Start from the bottom up. Let's pull that one. There's a, a little thing that you press on this one. Let's see. It's hard to get your finger in there. Okay. And I got these two. Okay. It is connected, disconnected. Now looking at the back of the radio, you have to remove three T25 screws and then go along the side and remove these clips to take off this little bezel trim here. Before removing the radio, you gotta remove the climate controls and it's four more, you guessed it, T25s and then these clips and it just pushes right out the front. Once that's out, now all you gotta do is release these clips. I've already released two. At least these other two, and then we'll come right up. Press this little tab and pull forward, it will come right out.